Welcome to the Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread it all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now guys, we're going to go over Apple and Tesla. And of course, I'm going to go over other stocks also. But they're going to be the main focus. Now, of course, right now we had the split. Apple had its split. Tesla had its split. Now, guys, we know this game is rigged. Apple always gets shorted at this time period. And then also going into the first quarter. Now, what do we know about the stock market right now? We are due for a correction. And then at the beginning of the year, either January, February, or March, we get another correction. So the fact is, guys, if you have the money, I'm talking about for Apple and Tesla. If you have the money right now, yes, you can buy it right now because it's going to keep rising because what? The Fed is keep stroking checks right now. But the Fed did advise us that they're comfortable with the balance sheet. So that means they're going to start pulling back. So that means that we are going to have a correction. We're starting to see it a little in the tech uh, phase, but we still know Apple is still going to creep up there, stay in this range. So if you do want to make a couple of dollars that did drop recently, yes, you can get in. But the fact is, is that with these tech stocks and a whole lot of the stocks, and I'm going to go over that in another video, a lot of these stocks are going 16 times earnings. 13 times earnings so yes apple is big but is it worth two trillion dollars no it is not that is the fed pumping it so we know it's going to have a correction but like i stated if you have ten thousand or more where you can go in one day and come out you know do your little day trading yes you can still do that but those who don't have the money but they still want to get invested in the long term you do have to wait on tesla and Apple to get at its very bottom price. Now, we're going to have a correction if you want to make quick money. We are going to have a correction October, November. We know the election is coming up. You want to put in your money after them when we have that correction, then definitely do that. Of course, I'm going to keep you up to date in more videos. But as we know, Tesla is an energy company, guys. Now, we know their goal is for the cars to make it autonomous. Of course, well, I'm going to get into Uber and Lyft in another video. This is going to be a very, very important video. But that's what all this is about. Us moving all over into digital, all over automation, where humanity is taken out of the economy. Now, we know Tesla is going to be announcing the battery. We also know about the solar energy. Of course, that'll be attached with the battery. If you know anything about solar energy, where well, you can actually store it. But that's very, very important. But let's get over into a few tech stocks that the Fed is not pumping. And guys, it's very, very important. The first one is Intel, guys, the chip maker. Now, the fact is we know Intel is a great company, great profits. But also, they just advised yesterday they're going to be doing dividends. Yes, guys, Intel is going to be doing dividends. And plus, the price is cheap. Plus, their earnings match what they're actually doing. So their balance sheet is wonderful. Basically, we have uh, Western Digital Corporation, of course, data storage. We also have Seagate technology, of course, same thing, cloud, data cards, data storage, same thing. Both of those are cheap also. Now, to keep an eye on, well, as far as Tesla, another company besides Tesla, is uh, NIO, NIO, uh, the ticker, the electric company. Yes, it's going to have its ups and downs, guys. It's going to have a roller coaster. But this one is going to shoot up. Remember, you're talking about billions of people over in Asia. That's poor right now. It's going to be moved up to the middle class. This is a long-term stock, though, that's going to pay off for you. It's just like Cobalt. Cobalt is going to be just as big as you see uh, palladium and gold is going to be that big because it's going to have that much use usage. And then also, guys, on my list, I have Oracle. And the reason why I have that because, of course, basically, it's in the media. Of course, we have the TikTok deal. I do see, and once that is closed, I definitely see 
Oracle moving up, even though it has top guys. But you have to remember within a atmosphere in a current environment that data, 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 data is everything. And that's all TikTok has is plenty of your data. That's all they do is collect data. So Oracle, I definitely see actually moving up. But just like I say to guys, and I'm going to be repeating this probably just about every video, is that we're going to have a correction this year. And then, of course, we're going to have a, a dip in the first quarter of next year. We always have a dip in the first quarter. It's either January, February, or March. It's normally in January or February. But the fact is that basically we're definitely going to have it. Now, guys, of course, I am not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you're doing your own research. What I'm doing is I'm just putting it on the table. So, therefore, you can go behind me, do your own research, and then basically make an educated financial decision. That's all I have for you guys. Please like and subscribe and spread all over social media. And y'all have a wonderful day. And a reminder that Tesla is more than just electric cars. Elon Musk's company has also quietly been charging up its energy storage business. But will that be enough to overcome questions about its solar power operations? Phil Lebeau takes us to beautiful Brattleboro, Vermont tonight. The Cappy House looks like any other charming home in rural Vermont. But Ellen Cappy is all about being energy efficient from plugging in her Tesla Model 3 to the massive solar panels providing more than enough power for her home and nearby business. We like the idea that we have, you know, that we can be prepared, prepared for whatever and prepared for the future and also to be a part of the future. Even generating their own power, the Cappies are still tied into their local utility. So they've installed two Tesla power walls to store energy and keep them powered up even when there's a blackout. We got the power wall on February 7th, and on February 8th, we lost power, and we didn't even notice. It was seamless. It's absolutely seamless. You don't see the lights even flicker in your house. The changeover is that good. Tesla's energy storage business charged up this spring, jumping 81%. Meanwhile, Vermont's largest utility is planning to expand power wall installations and offer energy storage units to all customers. It is a cost saving device for the grid. It's cost saving for the planet in terms of carbon and it's cost saving for the grid because we use it during peak times. Despite some of the glowing reviews of the Tesla Powerwall, critics say there are only a limited number of people in the U.S. who truly need energy storage to deal with a blackout or a drop in electrical service. All other things being equal in your, your average rural area in, in the United States at this point, it's, it's pretty hard to make residential storage work. There, there have to be some special incentives and economics to make it make sense. But for the cappies? Storing their energy has empowered them to feel like they can ride out the next blackout in the area. Phil Lebeau, Nightly Business Report, Brattleboro, Vermont.